Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So from our family to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! As the holidays are here, hopefully everyone stays safe and enjoys time with their loved ones. As for myself, I'll continue to try and upload, but my progress, especially on those tough optional bosses, might slow down. Uh, it takes a lot of time to kind of uh, formulate strategies, and honestly speaking, I need a break and to spend some more time with the family over these next few days as well. Anyways, Chapter 3 of the Mythos side story has dropped. Remember that your app should already be updated to 2.5.4, in which case just reset the app and the required data should automatically download. It won't be in the App Store, at least on iOS. Also, note that you want to at least begin this within the next week or so since you get a bonus of 40 additional Chrono Stones for starting. You of course still get 100 of that for finishing this chapter as well. As usual, due to the length of the chapter, I'm breaking it up into parts for easy recording. Now this one starts at the cave entrance where we beat that winged boss. Or could it be their god's retainer? At the end of chapter 2. The mobs here in Chapter 3 are still less than level 60, so a full level 60 to 80 team is more than enough. Just pack some AoE to take care of them. There is a puzzle of sorts as you explore through this cave as well. Different rocks marked by white exclamation marks activate magnetic paths to rise and fall depending on the color. And that affects which paths you can take. Uh, I did show an example in this video. Now if you explore thoroughly and just press on each of those exclamation marks, it shouldn't be too difficult. Clarty isn't uh, feeling 100% still, but more importantly, uh, flashbacks are starting to occur in some of the others as well. I guess the memory wiping effects of Johan, the tower defender, do you remember him in chapter 1? Is fading. This first should make for some interesting developments in the storyline. I love the fact that Rosetta's text speaking has musical notes. I imagine her speaking in a very friendly musical voice as she interrogates you and terrorizes you and she would enjoy every minute of it. Let me know in the comments below, especially those who own Rosetta. Is she actually nice, or is she actually terrifying in secret? Uh, as usual, there are the usual antics between Thila Lee and Melina as well. Watch for some suggestive comments by Thila Lee in this video. At the end of this particular section, we make camp and Clarty uh, speaks to Aldo and Melina up to find out more about them and their past. I love this part uh, the most since we do learn more about the backstory of them and the storyline, as well as the gameplay, continues to draw me back into the game. As usual, I'm going to stop talking now and let you watch the rest of the video in peace. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time!
Bye. 